We now know that mental health problems are the leading cause of disability worldwide and now we really need to use the wealth of data we have on mental health to really begin to prevent these problems. So my name is Rebecca Pearson. I'm a lecturer in psychiatric epidemiology here in the medical school in the Centre for Academic Mental Health. So my research focuses on why it is that if a mum is depressed, her child also goes on to have depression when they are older. And actually this is quite a complicated problem because the mother and child are connected by genetics, by the environment the baby's born into, how the mum parents the child, but also the mum and the baby share a pregnancy in utero environment. So to really understand how we can break this cycle and where we can help these mums and children, we need to really unpick these pathways. Now the children of the 90s data really has provided a unique resource for me to study this over the last eight or nine years, publishing several papers that have begun to disentangle when and how mum's depression influences her child. One of the key aspects is that ALSPAC uniquely started in pregnancy and some of my research and others have now shown that depression during pregnancy is at least as common and influences the child even if it doesn't continue after birth and this has contributed to now national screening for depression during pregnancy and prioritization of mental health during the perinatal period an effort that is still ongoing so the future of this research is then to look at what happens in the next generation um, and the real advantage is now that the children of the 90s are becoming adults and parents themselves We've recently published data comparing antenatal depression in the generation pregnant in the 1990s with their daughter's generation today, showing that actually it's, it's gone up even further. It was common before, but it might be even more common in this new generation. And this received worldwide media attention, taking real notice in many areas of the world where they still only focus on postnatal depression. So I'm really excited that in the future of our work, following up that children of the children of the 90s, Coco 90s, we're now going to really track where can we intervene. And what we're doing is taking account of new technology, wearable cameras in the mums and babies' homes as they grow up. And I do believe with the support of the fantastic Children 90s team and local groups feeding into our research, we will, over the next few years, be able to inform intervention strategies that can help prevent this intergenerational risk of mental health.